Okay, so what is the difference between UVA rays and UVB rays? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I am Dani and I am a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology. And today I want to explain the difference between UVA rays and UVB rays. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we have three types of UV rays. A UV stands for ultraviolet rays of the sun. And we actually have three types, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Now, luckily for us, UVC rays do not reach the Earth's surface, so we don't have to worry about those. We only have to deal with UVB and UVA. There are approximately 500 times more UVA rays than there are UVB rays, so we definitely need UVA protection. And now let's see what is the difference, the exact difference between UVA and UVB. Here is how you can remember it easily. UVB, B, you can associate it with burn. UVB rays cause the burning and the redness of the skin. And UVB UVA, you can associate A with aging. UVA rays cause aging, photo aging, hyperpigmentation, they destroy collagen, they suppress your immune system, and they cause the overall sagging of the skin and the skin loses elasticity. Okay, so this is why UVA is incredibly important. The overall problem today is that we actually have more UVB filters than we do UVA filters. So when looking for a product that protects you from the sun, it is very important to look for both of those, UVB and UVA protection. Okay, now let's see how to see if a product has both UVA and UVB protection. UVB protection has a standardized rating that is called SPF. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor and it ranges from 6 to 60. I think I even saw 60 or even higher than that. Here's how SPF rating works. They compare the unprotected skin to protected skin with, for example, SPF 30. So if it takes 10 minutes for the unprotected skin to burn, with SPF 30, it will take about 30 times longer for the sun to cause the same burning on the skin. So because the UVB rating is standardized, you only need to look for SPF sign on the packaging and you'll be good to go. But how to tell if a sunscreen has a high UVA protection, now that is tricky. That is tricky because UVA does not have a globally standardized rating, but there are different methods that are used and I will mention a few. Okay, so I will keep it simple. As I said already, UVA rating isn't standardized globally and it is, it is a bit of a problem, but you can look for these two UVA ratings. These are the most commonly used today and they are PPD and PA rating. PPD stands for persistent pigment darkening and this is an equivalent to SPF, but for UVA. PPD is common in European sunscreen, but this technique was actually developed in Japan. PPD is tested on a panel of people exposed to UVA light they are all analyzed on the time it takes for their skin to tan and then the results are compared between the unprotected skin and the protected skin ppd of 10 means that it will take around 10 times longer for your skin to tan compared to if it was unprotected okay now let's see pa stands for protection rate of uva which is more popular in asian countries it's similar to ppd but it uses plus signs and it ranges from pa plus to pa quadruple plus here is how you can compare PA rating to PPD rating. PA plus translates to PPD 2 to 4. PA double plus is uh, translated to PPD 4 to 8. PA triple plus is translated to PPD 8 to 16. And PA quadruple plus is PPD over 16. Now, because of the way PA is set up, two sunscreens with a PPD of 20 and a PPD of 50 would be both rated as PA quadruple plus. And there's no way of telling which one offers higher protection. So as you can see, the UVA ratings are very limiting, but we will just have to deal with it for now until a globally standardized rating is established. Okay, now let's see. So what should we be looking for in a sunscreen? Ideally, we should look for a high protection from both UVA and UVB rays. And here I can recommend a few sunscreens for you guys that I enjoy. My first recommendation for high UVA and UVB protection would be La Roche-Posay Shock 
Luca Fluid and I already did a separate review on this one so you can check it out right here. This one is SPF 50 and it has a PA quadruple plus rating which means that it has extremely high UVA protection. This one is also great because you can apply it on your under eye area as well and it does not stink. My second recommendation would be Vichy Mattifying Dry Touch Face Fluid SPF 50 with UVA protection. Now here I'm talking about a European version of this sunscreen because I know that the US version is different and I still haven't done a proper review for this one but it is coming next week so you might consider subscribing if you're interested in uh, seeing that video. Okay so the European version of this cream has all six UV filters that were included in the shock of fluid and then it has three more UV filters on top of that and both of these sunscreens have L'Oreal group exclusive agents like Mixoral XL and Mixoral SX which are patented by L'Oreal and you can only find them in L'Oreal owned companies uh, which both Vichy and La Roche-Posay are. Now there are two problems with this Vichy sunscreen though. You cannot apply it on your under eye area so you will need to use a separate sunscreen for your under eyes uh, if you choose this one. And the other problem that I have with Vichy is that it does not have UVA rating on the packaging nor on the website. And I was kind of confused by that because based on the ingredients I would say that this one is providing you with some serious UVA and UVB protection because this one has even more UV filters than the La Roche-Posay Shaka fluid. And why they didn't include a UVA rating, I'm honestly not sure and hopefully they will correct that in the near future. But based on the ingredients, I think that this one is providing you with a very high UVA protection. A detailed review on this one is coming next week on my channel, so stay tuned if you would like to see that. That would be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.